Welcome people of the internet, my name is Talon, and I'm going to be discussing my opinions and thoughts on the JXK The New Empire line. Mainly because we just got the announcement of the final figure in the line, Shimo. Unless they announce a Suko figure, which I highly doubt, knowing Bandai. It'll probably cost like 80 bucks for the Suko figure. Let's get right into it. Okay, people. Um, so this is the Shimo figure right here. Um, it looks fine. Um, I'm definitely not going to be picking this up. But, like, they have three different colors. They're using three different colors on it. Well, technically two, but, like, three. Because of this, like, pinky uh, color right here. No idea what that's called. It's, like, pixie dust color. No clue. Um, it looks fine. Uh, my one complaint about the figure, too, actually, is that price tag and the neck. I don't think Shimo's neck is that long. Shimo's neck is not that long. The Hyatt Toys figure looks 10 times better. And what is this part right here? Is this like a shoulder blade? Like a shoulder thing? I don't think that's what the thing was like. The Haya Toys figure is way more movie accurate, maybe except the head sculpts. I do like the head sculpts on this one, but it's just this neck is way, way too long. It I don't think it should be this long. And I don't remember these crystals being on her tail. I swear they were on her tail. I don't think she had those on her tail. I I don't think she did. It's like a gap right there. I, I, I don't know how to feel about her neck. I don't think her neck should be this long, but it's fine. I'm not going to be picking this up, mainly because of the price tag. It also just looks like an upscaled Playmates figure. And also, it comes with a alternate face for the Kong figure. At this point, just make the full-on figure. You have all the parts, just use the same mold and, or body for the regular JXK Kong, but then just add the arm piece, add the faces. That's all you had to do, Bandai. Is that is that too hard for you, Bandai? I don't think it is, Bandai. Have you seen how many repaints you put out? Or like remolds? You you can do this, Bandai. It's not that hard. Okay, that's my opinions on the Shimo figure. It's not great, but it's not bad. Definitely, I'm going to, pick up, going to be picking up the Haya Toys figure over this one. Because this one does not look as good as the Haya. And let's also see how those joints are. Are they going to be falling off? I bet you this this tail right here, I bet you these things are going to fall off in the box. Like the end of the tail spikes. Like this tail is going to be the worst thing on this figure. Or like a foot's gonna fall off. A foot, like one of the feet are gonna fall off. A hundred percent. Steven's toy review is gonna have a fun time, uh, uh, making fun of this figure. Let's get to the next figure. Okay, so this is the Scar King figure. Um, I'm not gonna buy it. I'm gonna see if Hyatt Toys makes one. But I'm just not so sure on the Roaring Head. Cause let's let's look up a thing of Scar King roaring. Like right here, it like on the on the figure, it looks too flat on the figure. It should like come out a bit more, in my opinion. I know some people like the Scar King figure. I am not one of those people. It looks fine. It's just this part right here, like the snout needs to come out a bit longer. It looks too flat. Like, they got the gums right, but it just needs to come out a bit more to look more like Scar King. And I don't remember his eyes being that blue. His eyes are not that blue. Yeah, his eyes aren't that blue. They're like... They're not that blue. Like, yeah, look, see? They're, they're not that blue. They're not that blue. So. Um, also, this figure comes with the alternate um arm piece for beast uh for the jxk kong 
So, what's up with that, Bandai? You could just make the figure. I don't want a Marvel Legends situation where you have to buy the figures you don't want in order to get the thing, get the thing for the figure you do want. Bandai, what is what? Who approved of this? Genuinely, who approved of this? Did did Legendary approve of this or? I don't know. I don't know. That's just my opinion, though. Let's... And also, the Shimo figure is $260. $260 for the Shimo figure, by the way. Um, Let's look at the Evolved Godzilla. Now, this one... This one is definitely... This one is definitely the best one out of all, all of them. Um, it's still not great. I have, I haven't decided if I'm gonna pick it up. It, I'm conflicted. It looks great, but looks really bad at the same time. Like, what is up with all this green? This is gonna be like a uh, S uh, a Godzilla 2014 situation. Like, there shouldn't be this much green on the figure. There shouldn't be that much green on here. It should just be charcoal black. Like, what is all this green on it? There shouldn't be this much green on it. Like, and then what is up with the eyes? Like, this guy had, this guy doesn't look like he has any life in his eyes. This looks like that. It doesn't. He doesn't have life in his eyes. He doesn't have life in them. And I bet you this like torso might not be like articulated like articulated okay, maybe it is maybe it is maybe i'm wrong like it also doesn't come with a beam it just comes with alternate hands like the uh gpk version i'm not i don't know it's it's fine i'll give it a, a six out of ten a little bit above mid i'm definitely not going to be go, I'm going to be picking up most of these figures in the line now let's go down to the regular uh, versions of these characters. Now I do have the GBK Kong, but the arm broke off because it's tight because the joint was so loose. I was gonna pick up this figure because it looks way better than the GBK one, but I decided not to. And instead, I got the SH Monster Arts Gamera figure in 1999. It's fine. It's $67. Get this one over the GVK one. I don't have that many opinions on this because it's just the GVK sculpt. I, uh, it's fine. Mid. Mid. Um, But, for this one, I do... This is just my second favorite uh, Legendary Godzilla from SH Monster Arts. My favorite one is that poster version from Godzilla King of the Monsters. That looks great, in my opinion. Um, it's just it's just the GVK one, which I have. It's just the GVK with the Godzilla 2019 accessories and the GVK accessories. It's fine. This is my second favorite one, though. It's, it, it's fine. I'm not gonna be picking it up because I already have the accessories from the 2019 Godzilla and the GBK Godzilla. Um, only get this if you are a completionist. That's all you are getting these figures for. The regular Kong and the base Godzilla are for completionists, 100%. Um, that's kind of all my opinions on these figures. That's all of my opinions on the figures right now. If they do release a Suko figure, I will give my opinions on that on a, a short video. Um, make sure you guys leave your guys' opinions down in the, in the description below. And while you guys are at it, please subscribe because it does help me out a lot. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace! <laughs>